I'd like to discuss something that may have been or sometimes is uh, a problem for you. Uh, there are many techniques in which we like to work over a retarded, lightly retarded background. <clears throat> so I have retarder medium here. I have a brush to apply the retarder medium. And I put the retarder medium on. Now, I want a thin coat, and this is too heavy a coat, so sometimes I blot it with a soft, lint-free cloth. Sometimes I take my mop, I've got a linter in there, and go over it, and that gives me just that low sheen of a lightly retarded background. And, and that's the proper look for it. But sometimes when you go to do this, you, you take your background and you put on your retarder and you, you brush it on. Now let me tip it so you can see it. I'm gonna have to work here a minute. You brush it on and Instead of staying out smooth and even, it kind of clumps together, and so we get uneven coverage of the background. See how it has clumped up? Why does this happen? Well, in our experience, it happens for one of two reasons, usually. Um, you may have a little too much all-purpose sealer. See, I like to put all-purpose sealer with my background colors when I base paint uh, for most objects. Um, you may have a little too much all-purpose sealer. I like about 10, 10%. Also, it may be a piece that sat on the shelf for a while. The sitting on the shelf, as this piece has for a while, just the dirt and dust of daily living get on the piece. And there's enough oil in the daily dust to cause that uneven application of retarder. What you do is just take it and rub it and that retarder will cleanse the surface so that when you come back to retard the surface it will go on smoothly and evenly. See that? and I'm not getting any clumping or unevenness of that application. There is a, a final problem for some of us. I have very oily skin, and if I touch my face and work in the piece, I will have enough oil there to cause it to clump and be uneven. See, it's the same whether it's oil from the dust of living or if you have lotion on your hands or if you've touched your face. But again, all you have to do is the retarder will cleanse and then you come back and you'll be able to put on your smooth retarder coat. An easy fix. In really, really severe cases, you may have to take an old piece of 400 sandpaper or um, rarely 600. I usually don't use 600 and just sand a little bit 
In fact, if, when you're prepping, if you feel like you might have a little too much sealer in it, just lightly sand the piece before you go to paint. And that will eliminate the problem completely. I hope this helps you.